Five Tech Entrepreneurs That Changed the World Where would we be without technology? It stimulates our lives and progresses the world we live in. Through the eyes of technology, anything is possible with a touch of a button. That's why we love it. That's why we can't live without it. Through its ever-evolving presence, we've grown from telephone wires to cell phone towers, from checks in the mail to electronic funds transfer, from connecting to others with voices over a receiver to connecting face-to-face -face on a screen, and the list goes on. So without further ado, let's consider five tech entrepreneurs that changed the world. Garrett Camp, a man who plans with a vision of the button at the forefront of his mind, Garrett Camp envisioned an app that could hail a cab. He let the idea marinate on his mind for a year until he was ready to cook. In 2009, he partnered with Travis Kalanick and founded Uber, at first called Uber Cab. With the Uber app, customers can grab a nice ride from almost anywhere, at almost any time changing the way we ride indefinitely. But Uber wasn't Garrett's first successful endeavor. He began Stumble Upon in 2002 with three friends while still in college. Stumble Upon was such a success, eBay bought it for $75 million in 2007, only to be bought back two years later. Garrett Camp has made it his mission to be a leader in revolutionizing the world and is using his expertise to help baby startups reach their full potential. In 2013, he founded Expa, a network of entrepreneurs who back founders through expertise, access, and funding. In March of 2020, in a post on his Medium page, Garrett announced his decision to vacate his position as a board of director at Uber and continue as a marionettist of strategy as a board observer. Bill Gates William Henry Gates III, aka Bill Gates, is a modern household name. If you haven't heard of him because of Microsoft, then I'm sure you've heard of his philanthropy. Bill Gates was one of the key players in the personal computer revolution of the 1970s and 1980s, and was at the number one spot on the Forbes World's Billionaire List in 1995 1996, 1998, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, well, you get the picture. Bill Gates changed the industry of technology. He frowned upon the tradition of computer programming being treated as a pastime. In 1976, he criticized hobbyists for sharing and not paying for technology. In his 1976 open letter to hobbyists, he states, as a majority of hobbyists must be aware, most of you steal from software. Hardware must be paid for, but software is something you share. Who cares if the people who worked on it get paid? Is this fair? He went on to write, I would appreciate letters from any who wants to pay up or has suggestions or comments. Nothing would please me more than being able to hire 10 programmers and deluge the hobby market with good software. You get what you pay for, and Gates was sure to earn every penny of every dollar that made up all of his billions, to the extent of what some considered wrongful. The United States took him to court on anti-competitive charges in 1998, accusing Microsoft of monopolizing the industry. After being found guilty, Gates appealed the decision and reached a settlement agreement in 2001. But let's backtrack. The story of Microsoft begins in 1967, when Gates was just a young boy of 12 years old. He was enrolled in a private school in Seattle, where he met classmate Paul Allen. The two shared an interest in computers and became close friends. Fast forward to 1975, while attending Harvard, Bill Gates and Paul Allen realized that with the price of computers dropping, more people could gain access to them, and developing software could be a big business. After calling MITS with a proposal, they created Basic Interpreter for the MITS Altair 8800, which MITS purchased for $3,000. Subsequently, 
Gates takes a leave of absence from Harvard, so he and Allen can travel to Albuquerque, New Mexico to develop software for MITS. A year later, Bill Gates and Paul Allen trademark Microsoft, initiating the world's most dominant software company. A one-of-a-kind tech entrepreneur, Gates was Microsoft's leading product strategist from its beginning in 1975 until 2006. When he decided to fade out his responsibilities at Microsoft over two years to focus on the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In 2007, Bill Gates finally graduated from Harvard with an honorary degree. Today, personal computers are such a necessity, the government and nonprofit organizations will provide free computers to low income family applicants. A service usually reserved for electricity bills housing and food. Where would we be without Bill Gates and Paul Allen's contributions? Brian Chesky Ever found yourself strapped for cash and the bills keep piling up? So did Brian Chesky. Thus appears the inception of Airbnb. A graduate of fine arts in industrial design, Brian Chesky found work at 3DID in Los Angeles, California. In 2007, Chesky and his roommate Joe Jebbia, who he met while attending design school in Rhode Island, could not afford their rent and decided to utilize their apartment for financial gain. They knew that all the hotel rooms in San Francisco, where they lived, were booked solid due to a conference of the Industrial Designers Society of America and subsequently secured three paying guests. Airbnb began with three air mattresses in the roommate's apartment, advertised as air bed and breakfast. Chesky and Jebbia knew that they were on to something, but their road to what is now a $38 billion enterprise was a grueling one, which required extreme dedication and lots of creativity. Keeping the motif, Chesky and Jebbia invited another old roommate on board. Nathan Bleacherzek, and the three embarked on an adventure that included a roommate search business, an air bed and breakfast launch during Southwest, and eventually another launch at the Denver Democratic National Convention in 2008. This is where the trio got really inventive and made special edition cereal boxes called Obama O's and Captain McCain's and sold them on the streets. Each box had air bed and breakfast information on them and caught the eye of Paul Graham. Graham invited them to his seed funding program Y Combinator. From there, the company began to rise while maintaining their ingenuity, such as visiting their hosts and professionally photographing their spaces and abbreviating air bed and breakfast to Airbnb. CEO and co-founder Brian Chesky changed the way we receive our guests, sparked a few rallies in the process, and rattled the hotel industry. Steve Jobs Like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs played a part in the personal computer revolution of the 1970s and 1980s. But before Jobs was a member of the PC revolution, he was a member of the hippie movement. He used marijuana and LSD in college before dropping out after a year and traveling to India in search of wisdom. In 1976, he joined forces with Steve Wozniak and co-founded Apple One, a kit for building a personal computer. The business partners earned enough money from the hobbyist market to venture forward and fund Apple II. See a pattern? The Apple II garnered enough recognition to receive funding from wealthy investors and with a span of two years, Steve Jobs would become a millionaire. Apple went public in 1980, and the board of directors pushed for John Scully to be a part of the executive team. In 1983, Jobs agreed. In 1984, inspired by the Xerox Alto, Macintosh was born and was the first mass-produced personal computer to use a graphical user interface. While Apple was becoming a huge success, there was a power struggle behind the scenes, and in 1985, Jobs was removed with Scully taking his place. Jobs took some members of his Apple team with him and founded Next, 
a return to his roots in building computers. He also invested in Pixar, of George Lucas's Lucasfilm, taking controlling stock. Jobs' venture with Next would lead him right back where he started at the helm of Apple, when they bought Next in 1996 in need of a new operating system. Apple was drowning in the abyss of less expensive Microsoft products by the time Jobs returned to the company he innovated, and he got assistance from an unlikely source. In August of 1997, Bill Gates invested $150 million in Apple, saving it from bankruptcy. Jobs used some of the money for a new and improved advertising campaign, and with the next operating system, iMac was invented. With iPod, iPad, iPhone, iTunes, iTunes Store, and App Store following suit. In 2003, Jobs was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. He succumbed to complications from this on October the 5th, 2011. Steve Jobs was survived by his wife, four children, sister, and the legacy of Apple in the homes, pockets, offices, and classrooms of the masses. Larry Page Born into a tech family, Larry Page hails from the state of Michigan. Following in the footsteps of his parents, he received his bachelor's degree in engineering from the University of Michigan. He attended graduate school at Stanford University, where he met Sergey Brin. Together, the two began a search engine project based on the format that the most popular site would show up on the list first, and the other sites would follow consecutively. They named it Google, after the name Google, which is the number one followed by 100 zeros. After raising $1 million, Page and Brin co-founded Google in 1998. True to its concept, Google was quickly at the top of the list of most popular search engines. Page held positions as CEO of Google, and Brin worked as director of special projects. In 2015, Google's net income was $16.35 billion when Page and Brin announced they had created a parent company called Alphabet to oversee Google and their subsidiaries. They also announced that they would be stepping back from Google to focus on Alphabet with Larry Page as CEO and Sergey Brin as president. From that time forward, Page and Brin began to distance themselves from daily responsibilities, and in 2019, announced they would be stepping down from Alphabet, but would continue to oversee as the predominant shareholders. Page continues to break new ground and personally funded an enterprise we've only seen in the movies and on the Jetsons called Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk is a venture in air taxis. Air taxis are small aircrafts that run on electric motors and make short flights on demand. Larry Page is set to change the world to the things dreams are made of. The gentlemen on this list contributed to the tech industry in their own unique ways, from mobile apps to software, from helping people earn a living in their homes to smartphones, and a research project that helped all future research projects. Though their contributions are diverse, they remain eternal, and they all change the world for the better. Which entrepreneur do you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell because I have more interesting videos coming up. See you in the next video.